Form 4 and 5 students from schools across the island took part in the Small Business Development Center Young Entrepreneurs in Action SBDC This program saw students partner with various businesses to cultivate an understanding of the business world and equip students with necessary entrepreneurial skill sets. Some of the soft and technical skills students learned were punctuality, time management, customer service, financial planning and product development. Commerce Minister Emma Hippolyt says the cohort increased from 40 to 100 this year. However, she says the number was reduced to 96 as some students dropped out within days of commencement, whilst others failed to complete the program close to its end. Nevertheless, she says the majority of students reported positive experiences. There were some areas of concern, including a few students feeling underutilized or not sufficiently challenged in their assigned roles. Some mention, mentioned workplace dynamics, such as gossip and conflict affecting the overall experience. Diverse job titles held by students range from being the managing director. I guess this did not come with all the perks. Cyrus Sipal, Deputy Chief Education Officer at the Department of Education, says that the Ministry of Education was happy to partner with the Ministry of Commerce and the Small Business Development Center. More specifically, Sipal says the Ministry of Education is happy that the program kept students engaged during the summer break, which prevents a regression in academic proficiency. Some persons say, I don't give you a fish, but I teach you to fish. So you have the line, you have the hook. You have the bit, but guess what? You're in the middle of the Sahara Desert. You don't have a vehicle. It will take you about two weeks to walk from the middle of the Sahara Desert to reach the ocean. How are you giving me a line and, and, and bit and, and telling me um, fish? I need some fish to take me two, to last me two weeks to reach the ocean and then take your fish away and then tell me fish. So we need to understand the concept. So now, young people, I'm telling you this to let you know that you have been given the skills now, but in the, the government of St. Lucia, they have also provided, you have the, the youth program and a number of programs that will help you along the way to get you to set up your own business. A business owner who was given three students from the Leon Hess Comprehensive Secondary School over the summer details his experience. Coming on site, I knew we had interns, but I couldn't find them. What I found was capable, motivated young men. Not only did they do what they were told to perfection, but they fought for themselves. Three students shared their experiences. It taught me a little bit more, you know. It, it allowed me to see the importance of having a good relationship in the workplace because that is what really fosters and uh, uh, an environment where everyone is happy and everyone is working and they're working efficiently so that she can have a good profit and she could, her business could be successful. We will learn to, how to make the bread, the mixture of the dough and the yeast and to be into a very interactive experience, you learn how to converse with your co-workers, how to, well, communication skills and it was a very good experience, you know, and he told me how to run my own business, the stuff to look out for and the stuff to be mindful of. The working environment, I had to work around the people, talking to people, and he gave me better communication, better communication skills, which I have to talk to the operator on the shift, on the line. And he taught me that in life, no matter where you are, who you talk meet or those you talking to, no matter how they look at you, it's not the job you have, it's the respect, the attitude you have towards it. It benefits me like, to have a better mindset that in life you have to work hard for what you want. The closing ceremony for the SBDCA took place at the Finance Administrative Centre at Point Seraphine in Castries. For the DBS News World, Miriam Montoot reporting.